Hi, I'm Jay Evans, owner of Two Structures Homes in Oklahoma City in the Edmond area. We're at, today we're at my personal house and we're going to talk about three things I like about my personal house and three things that um, I don't care for or, or um, are not necessarily desirable. Um, number one, people all the time talk to us about having a flat yard. They want flat yard for basketball or whatever. I've got a perfectly flat yard. We have a little bit of uh, rise to the street, but pretty much past that, this is a pretty flat yard for my neighbors. Tin horn, where the water comes through through the ditch, to the back of my property is an 18 inch fall. That's not near enough fall. While I like having the front yard, it, it makes a nice, um, easy to mow yard. It's kind of, you know, we can play basketball out here or, or do anything like that that we want. The drawback is, is as you can see, I've got some dead plants so that we'll replant a little bit uh, later into the spring. Um, they're dead because the water runoff of the house gets pretty much trapped in that area over there and um, it's drowning my plants. So the big tree here, and if you see, I've already replaced it once. I've replaced those two once already and I'm gonna end up replacing it again. This one over here I've already replaced. And then I've got several there that need replaced. They're just drowning because the water won't get away from them. And uh, we even got a little drain right here, the rock is drained trying to get the water away from it. So we're gonna have to do something else to try to get the, the water away from it. Another thing I like about the house is I like our stucco. I originally had this house planned to be painted brick and Trish um, kind of vetoed me on that. We ended up spending more money to do the stucco, but I really like the stucco. I think it turned out great with the black windows and the accent of, uh, of the, <clears throat> the stone entrance and the, the covers of the windows, the awning tilted windows, I think turned out great. Now the drawback is I've gotten the look I want with the front door and the front um, entryway. The drawback is is that um, when the rain, rain real, when it rains real hard, it pushes water. Our door is um, while it looks really cool, it doesn't actually have a handle on it, so we have to lock the door, and um, it, it sweats a lot because it's real steel. So when it's really cold, like it was yesterday morning with the heat on the inside, we actually have that the door sweats. I that's the trade-off I'm willing to make because I like the way the door looks and I like the way the house looks. I put up with the um, with the drawback. To do this correctly, I need to make that a bigger entrance that comes further out and it wouldn't, it wouldn't, um, the, the door wouldn't get direct rain. But I, but I like the way it looks, so it's a trade-off I'm willing to make. All right, I'm going to give you the third and final thing that I would say I really like about the house. It's a good and a bad. I like the four car garage and I like the glass doors. I think they're really cool. Um, bad thing is they're expensive. The other thing is, is I wanted two two car garages so that I would have more balance on this area of the house. In doing that, the house was too wide for the lot. And so we had to change it up to where we have a one car garage and then uh, three cars over here. So that, that was a compromise we had to make for the house to fit the lot. Okay, so that's the three pros and cons to my personal house. Those are items that you think about when you're custom building a house. Let's um, take a look at the backyard. Backyard. I'm, I'm not uh, doing pros and cons back here because really I like everything about my backyard. The only thing that I, um, I'm not necessarily the craziest about is my pool house. I made it too small. I was trying to be cheap and uh, come in on budget and it ended up being a little smaller than I would have liked. Um, it could use another 100 square feet to make it really, really usable. Um, the backyard, as you can see, is really big. Um, this is a lot of times where we see the problems with the water because it's really flat back here and that back corner back there will hold water and uh, And there just it just doesn't have any fall. This was a this neighborhood used to be um, a wheat a, a wheat uh, Farm I don't know if that's the right way to say that but they terraced this so that it would hold, purposely hold water So it doesn't it holds water back there, but other than that as you can see um, Outdoor kitchen is nice. Uh, a little bit with the cooking apparatus because we got a pizza oven, a gas grill, and an egg, and then I got a, a Weber grill over here on the side. So 
Um, I'd like I had a flat iron, a flat, uh, a flat iron uh, grill to do smash burgers, but I just couldn't figure out where to put it. Um, the back patio turned out great. We have a TV, and uh, we have the the shades that go down on both on both um, houses. We've got our uh, generac over there to power us if we lose power. Trish can spy on our outdoor on the people out here, so. It's a, it's a good backyard. Okay, so that's my house. I hope you I hope you enjoyed watching. We'll do another one of the interior another day and make a pro and con of the interior as well as the pros and cons of the actual build and the money side of that. Thanks for watching. So glamorous. Here's my dog Bumpus. He's 11 years old and he's blind and he's the one that makes a mess on my putting green that you saw me cleaning up. <laughs>